Hey guys, it's FIFA Relic here and welcome to episode 77 of Last FIFA 14 and we are selling on the squad we built in the last episode because now we are going to pick up Cristiano Ronaldo. We got 2.8 million coins after we sold on everyone and Messi he sold off for 200,000 coins more than I bought him for so maybe a hundred and hundred and hundred twenty five K profit after tax on him which was quite nice and I had a lot of coins so I could pay that hefty fee of 2.7 million coins that Ronaldo is and pick him up and get him into my club and finally we do have him so we only need Ribery as the final skill and eventually we'll get to him but I think in the meantime we'll have have a lot of fun at playing with Ronaldo and maybe mix him, mixing him into a squad with Ibrahimovic but for now I just wanted to use some of the other skillers I had and build a squad around Ronaldo there. I only had 127k to build this squad so I just used a bunch of the players I already had in my club, got a lot of skillers into the side, picked up Kidiu as a bit of a holding mid in the midfield and uh, I actually changed my mind while building this squad so um, I got Marcelo out, got Janssen in, picked up a Boateng. And the final player of the squad would be Emmanuel Neuer, the keeper I just always like to use on this game. He's by far the best keeper in my opinion. So this is the team in the net. We do have a Neuer, and as I said, yeah, he's the keeper I prefer the most on the game. Boateng there, we know him, and the team of the season, Dede, linking nicely up with the other Brazilians, and he got some good stats on him. In fact, now on the right back, could have gone with pretty much any Brazilian right back, but as I said, I changed my mind while building the squad, and at that point in time, he was necessary for the chemistry. He's not right now, but I just decided I'll just go with him. Janssen on the left back. Kadira on the left center mid to be a bit of a holding holding mid, the defensive player in the midfield. And then we do have Ronaldo on the left wing. Hopefully we can score some cool goals with him. His stats are extremely good and I played with him on my other account while streaming and such. And he always performs very well and he's the player I have the most fun with. So I hope I can score some cool goals with him in this episode and in future episodes. We've got Jadson and Ronaldinho in the midfield to have a few more skillers in. And we got Kelvin and we got a Neymar. I could have gone with Ibrahimovic, but then I couldn't have that many skillers in the midfield, and that was kind of what I wanted for the first squad with Ronaldo. So I went with the Brazilians, and that is a pretty much the team we're going to play with in this episode. So we head on into the Champions Shield tournament, and what a team I get matched up against. Uh, ridiculous how good that team was, and it was very tough to create chances against it. The the defense was very strong uh, with pretty much uh, five to six players always staying back and there's not much space and in the end he would hit me uh, hit me on a bit of a counter attack and it just bounced all over the place and in the end the ball ended up at Lewandowski who could make it a 1-0. But having Ronaldo it is a bit of a team Ronaldo. He's a one man team and straight from the kickoff he goes on the run past the four defenders and he goes past two of the same defenders one more time takes on two more and he hits it into the far corner to make it 1-1. A beautiful goal that was, but apart from that, not much happened in the game. I hit the post here into extra time, but this game just bounced back and forth in the midfield with none of us, none of us being able to actually get a goal. So we went into the penalty shootout in the end, and we were able to convert both our first shots. I got lucky there. He almost saved Neymar's effort there, and uh, he will convert his second shot. So it's all even after two shots each, but then he picks out my shot with a Kelvin not too good. He read my play there, but I'm able to pick out his shot with Shakiri as well. So it's all even once again. What a shot there from Kadira going in off the side in the top corner. And I pick out his shot to bring myself into the lead. Ronaldinho steps up. And he wins it all there. So we win on a penalty shootout after a tough game there. Ronaldo, he got us back into the game straight after we conceded. And it was a quite nice goal. But apart from that, not too many chances in the game. So I was into the semi-finals and I decided to jump straight into that game as well. To see if I can get a few more goals with the team and get a few skill goals perhaps. And eventually, eventually I would have find an opponent who was playing a 5 at the 
back with some players not exactly on the full chemistry and Demi Kellis and yeah it's a bit of an odd team in some way and I get my first chance in the 24th minute to Neymar here almost running into Ronaldinho but we get a shot in but it is saved by Joe Hart in the net then Ronaldo on the ball a few minutes later we try out a long distance effort Hart cannot hold and we head it back to Ronaldo who's, who's able to turn around a little elastico chop past two defenders and he will bring us up a 1-0. That is the one-man team, Ronaldo. He just keeps on scoring. So he brings us up in this game. And after that, it opened up a bit of space. And I was able to create even more chance. I played on a through to Kadira here. And he's able to get a goal to bring us up a 2-0. And from a corner into the second half, I tried a shot just like the one I scored yesterday with Messi. But this one went wide. And from the next corner, I just decided to hit it into the box. And Boateng was able to make it a 3-0. And we get another chance with Boateng, he rushed up and he's able to get the ball, try to go past the keeper and actually we get a penalty, a little bit lucky, but we'll take it and in the end I actually blasted over the goal, I don't know why, it's just like in yesterday's episode, I added too much power to it, I'm not too sure why it happened, but nonetheless, we had a comfortable lead, we kept on creating chances here, Ronaldo on the ball once again, a few skill moves out on the wing and he's able to go past the same defenders a few times before he breaks into the box, Past one more defender, but what a save from Hart there, denying Ronaldo the goal. And in the end, it's actually my opponent to break on through and get a little goal back. But it didn't really matter too much. It was in the 90th minute. I won the game. A 3-1. Ronaldo opening up the goal show. And then Kadira and... Uh, was it Dede? I think it was Dede scoring off the corner, actually, uh, instead of Boateng, as I said. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty much how the game ended. And uh, we're into the final of the Champions Shield tournament. The final game of this episode, a 4-4-2 Brazilian side. And uh, I get my chance, uh, my first chance straight from the kickoff. We pass a little bit around. We find a Neymar and we find a bit of space. We try out the shot, but easily saved by Diego Alves there. Ronaldo on the ball, 42nd minute. A few skill moves out on the wing. In the end, we actually lose possession, but it falls straight back to Kadira. And he'll get another goal for himself, just as in the other game. And we are up 1-0. A few minutes later, Neymar on the ball. A few skill moves. He switched the play, play with a nice outside foot pass out. Out to Kadira, back to Janssen, we try out the shot, it deflects and hits the post top corner. Could have been a really nice goal, but in the end, not too much stuff happened after that. Into, uh, into the second half, I got a chance in the 90th minute, but that was pretty much it. So in the end, we win the game 1-0. We're able to score a few skill goals with Ronaldo in this episode. Hopefully there'll be a few more in the next one. And that is uh, pretty much all for this episode. Of course, we got one more trophy into our trophy cabinet, and we got our 25th trophy, which means we will go out and open up a free a pack and see if we can get anything good in that. And in that pack, we do not really get anything whatsoever. So that is uh, pretty much going to be where we end off this episode. We got 12 wins, 2 losses, and maybe we can get 8 more wins with the Ronaldo team. I'm not too sure if that's possible, but I'll give it a go. And anyways, that is going to be the end. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.